<laughs> you weren't drinking last night or that, were you? No. Oh, no. Good one. Well, <laughs> I like your teacher. You're responsible. <laughs> I can't really read it from there, so I'm okay. <laughs> Um, a wonderful movie, as everyone expected, and it's done outrageously well in, in, in the stage, breaking box office records. But as an actor, I don't know whether you were in any way kind of reluctant to, to walk into a role that was already played by somebody else, and whether you felt there was a kind of chemistry there that you had to try and click into, that these guys had worked together before? Well, I, um, you know, look, I'm, I'm a fan of Katie Holmes, and I think she was fantastic in the previous movie. But I knew I, I kind of... I wouldn't be any good. It wouldn't be fun to me if I had to imitate anything that she'd done. So I really thought of Rachel as a whole new woman. Um, and at the same time, you know, there, of course, are plot points from the previous Batman that are very important to this one that she set up beautifully and sort of, you know, handed to me. And I, I really um, had to pay attention to those. You know, most importantly, I guess, that at the very end of the movie, she says to Bruce Wayne that she loves him, but that she can't be with him if he's Batman. And, of course, that plays throughout this movie in lots of ways. And then in terms of, you know, how I felt walking into um, working on the movie that uh, they, these guys had all worked together before made it much easier for me, actually. I mean, the fact that Wally Pfister and Chris Nolan, Wally Pfister's the DP, had shot so many movies together meant that they moved so quickly. They really had a shorthand. Same was true with Christian. I had one nice scene with Michael Caine, and the same was true with Michael and, and Chris Nolan. So it felt... Um, Actually, like, you know, you're just working with really, really good people. And, of course, working with really good people makes everything easier. I should mention this uh, this point. This is your first really out there, big, big Hollywood blockbuster movie. And, and as I said, it's done outrageously good business. Great script, great director, great cast. You realize it won't always be like that if you ever go into the blockbuster business again. Because right. normally a lot of blockbusters kind of suck. And just so you know in advance, <laughs> just in case you felt, hey, this is easy, I will now do all these kind of movies. Thank you. For That's all right. <laughs> I guess you might have known that already. Rachel, Rachel Dawes does seem a much stronger character in this movie. And I don't know whether that was partly you felt, well, you kind of played it differently or whether this was part really down to Jonathan and, and Christopher's script or I don't know whether there was that sort of room to move that you could say, well, I'd like it to be this way instead. Or Actually, very much so. You know, I mean, when, when I met Chris, I met him first um, and then he gave me the script to read and he said to me, she's not quite finished in this script. It was pretty early on. And, you know, I just, I didn't, as much as I knew how incredible it would be to be in Batman and that all the actors were fantastic and Chris was fantastic, I knew I, I didn't want to do it if there was nothing to do. I didn't want to do it if she wasn't exciting. And I just really wanted to make sure that she was a real woman, that she was a, you know had a mind. And also that she cared as much and as passionately about making the world around her a better place as these guys did. And, um... Chris was very clear with me that he wanted the same thing, and so we just worked to try and make that true. Most uh, children of, of musicians or filmmakers or whatever it might be kind of have a, a question mark over where they want to follow, and, and, and your dad, Stephen's a director, and your mom, Naomi, is a scriptwriter, and obviously Jake then went into the business as well. Were you at all kind of reluctant? Because I know the first six films I think you did with your dad, and you studied literature at No, Columbia. no, I mean, oh. I, did, I did, like, oh. maybe, like, two things with my dad, maybe right. three, and I had, like... A line here or there, just really mostly to see my dad when I was, you know, 13, 14, 15 years old. But, but did um, you struggle with the idea of? You know, I did and I didn't. I, I, I kind of always knew I wanted to be an actress, but um, I, you know, I didn't struggle with it very much. I was very lucky and starting pretty early on, I found projects to work on that were very inspiring to me. You know, I did some stuff in the beginning when you're just a jobbing actor and you're not just trying to, you know, work. But pretty early on, I sort of found things that lit me up, that excited me, that I was where I was able to express myself. And once that started happening, I, I kind of knew it was the best way for me to express myself. Rock and roll. Having given the friendly finger. Very, very <laughs> nice to talk to you, man. Nice to talk to you.